Day 51 vlog, here we are in Drum Nerd Rocket. Drop that rocket for Drum Nerd Rocket. And yes, yes, Kay, it is outdoors. I hope you appreciate it. I'm here at my B&B. I think it's called Bunlivi. Bunli it's spelt B-U-N-L-I. There's a D and an H at the end. I don't know how the Celts pronounce that. I don't know what the Celtic language rule is for that. I only know some Welsh language rules and that's not enough. Um, but here I am in Drum Nerd Rocket anyway. Um, nice, easy day really. Uh, had a very pleasant evening in the hostel last evening. Um, had some dinner uh, and then sat down with the uh, with the ladies that I've met along the way and um, had a game of cards. Some crazy rummy rules that I was just, oh shit. But hey, it was good fun. Uh, and then just chilled. And then this morning, um, the 10 mile or so walk to Drumnod Rocket, uh, which is where I am now. Um, here in... And it's all right. Managed to dodge the rain today, although it is spitting at the moment. Um, but yeah, managed to dodge the rain. No real problems with rain today, which is good after the last kind of three days. Hopefully now it's starting to turn. There was even some sun out earlier on my arm, and I was thinking, oh, God, I'm going to get sunburned, aren't I? But I think I've escaped that. And uh, yeah, it's, it was a nice day. Some uh, a fairly steep climb this morning, so some really nice views right atop the lock uh right atop or across down the lock and and things like that so that was really nice um and then yeah a, a fairly steep descent into drum and rocket um but i hear i hear i got here in plenty of time had a nice lunch uh in a little cafe just down there it was uh very pleasant uh made me a smoothie it was nice it was really it's a place with heart which i quite enjoyed um george is sat as you can see reclining on his chair. I hope you can see him. There he is, just enjoying a nice sit down in the garden as well. Why not? He's had a busy day. And uh, yeah, so this evening, don't know what I'll do. Um, it's, uh, maybe town's really not that far, so possibly you wandered down. There's a co-op not that far as well, so grab some bits from there maybe. Um, nice easy evening. And then tomorrow, the Great Glenway ends, but Technically, the Great Glenway will end about a mile in, in tomorrow because I ain't doing the Great Glenway tomorrow. Oh, no, no, no. I am going my own way. Like that song. Um, what's that? Uh, you don't impress me much. That's it. Yeah. Because the Great Glenway don't impress me much. Um, um, so, yes. So it's a ding in there. Bring out your dead. Bring out your dead. Um, so yeah, the Great Glenway uh, hasn't impressed me much. It's 19 miles tomorrow. However, if I take a little bit of the A82, which I have been warned is a dangerous road, but I walked the A39 for like a year, so that'll be fine. Um, but if I take the a, the road for a little bit once it once the Great Glenway veers off, I can then get to a place called Lock End, and then there's a canal walk into Inverness, thus shaving about four miles off the walk and at this stage like not taking the high road i've got who am i who am i trying to impress here no one you know so i'm gonna do that and uh i'm sure it's pretty it's probably gonna be the prettiest day of the great glenway but you know what at this stage on day 51 of however many days i've got left two weeks today by the way <sighs> nah you're right i'll uh I'll go my own way. Plus, I'll be down right by the side of the lock because the other problem with taking the Great Glenway path is that you don't get that good view. So the lock, and when I'm trying to like get pictures of Nessie for my retirement, which I'm planning on taking this year and living off the fat profits of Nessie for life, uh, it makes it quite difficult. So uh, yeah, putting a couple of plans together for that. So that is what's going to happen. That's the plan. That's what we're going to do. So uh, yeah, and then... Inverness, the last great city of the island before north and the final leg begins and a day off on Sunday, which just so happens to coincide with England being in the Cricket World Cup final. <gasps> these things, these things sometimes are just meant to be. But anyway, I'm going to leave you now because, uh, you know, it is. I hope you enjoyed this outdooriness of this vlog. Um, it's definitely going to be indoors tomorrow. Bye.